Hello everybody. I don't know yet if this video is going to be separate to another video or the same video. I think it's going to be the same video. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going out to buy. I just realised my window's open. My neighbours can hear me. Should I shut it? <laughs> there we go. Um, I also haven't charged my ring light because I'm a failure, so I'm sorry. But um, yeah. I'm going out to buy props for this year's Halloween video series. I think I'm going to do classic monsters, kind of. So it's going to be like a witch, a vampire, a werewolf, a ghost, and a bonus round. Don't beep at me. Please, straighteners. No, a witch, a vampire, a ghost, a zombie, a werewolf. I think it's going to be them five. I was going to do modern classic horror films and I was going to do like Scream, Friday the 13th, there's one in my eye, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. I realised I haven't seen Nightmare on Elm Street and I haven't seen Friday the 13th. I could easily watch them before then, but it seems better to do the thing I already know. Anyway, oh my god, why is there something in my eyes as soon as I start filming? Anyway, anyway, right. I had a stall yesterday at a Comic Con. Um, and I was... Obviously, I don't know if you, if you know, if you're new here, hi. I'm Jen and I have severe anxiety when doing new things. So I got there <laughs> and I was unloading my car and this nice chap who worked for like the comic con place helped me with some of my stuff to get out the car because I had the heaviest suitcase known to my with like my display boards in. So he was helping me and then I was like, can you just take that in for me please and then I had to I was just physically sick in the car park because I was so anxious so that was fun just standing in the middle of a car park being sick um and then <laughs> I went in and I managed to get everything set up without needing to run to the loo to be sick by the way I haven't washed my hair in like seven days so I'm just putting a hat on um so yeah I was I did all my setup and then had to run to the loo to be sick as people started coming in oh my god <laughs> and there's no way to like control it i can't be like right i'm gonna sit down and calm myself down and take some deep breaths because i did all that and my brain was still like no bitch you're gonna throw so i had to go and run and be sick Anyway, by about I got there like half eight and by about 11 o'clock I felt okay. So it takes a few hours for me to feel fine. <laughs> but it didn't help that the stall I was next to <laughs> was selling brownies. Can you imagine feeling sick and the people next to you were selling things that smell of chocolate? <laughs> I wish when you boot they would say who's next year. Because like what if I had like a major nut allergy or something? They just sat me right there. So I asked the guy if next time I could like email and say, could I possibly not be next to anyone selling food? And I felt bad asking because it makes me sound like a right bleep winger who needs help. But he said, that should be okay. But he said it kind of shady. The <laughs> it's not shady. It just like everything seems like like, as far as being physically helpful, they're really good. But things like in emails, I don't know who replies in emails, but they're always really sharp, as if they're, like, doing your affair. <laughs> the, the stall cost £80. I only made about £20 altogether. I sold about £120 worth of stock, which is, like, that's really good. But when your table costs £80, it's not great. <laughs> but I mainly do it for the experience anyway, so that's okay. Like, considering the majority of that was 50 pence stickers, I don't think that's bad going. <laughs> People seem to like my art, so. Right, I've got this hat to put on. 
Should I put it on now or after my makeup? It matches my trousers. Well, it doesn't match my trousers. My trousers are black and white stripey, but it like it like brings the outfit together. I also couldn't find my white knickers. So I've got knickers on that have colour on and I think you might be able to see through my trousers. But that's okay. Should I plait my hair? It looks a bit much, doesn't it? Should I plait it? I'm not brushing it. Don't be silly. Maybe if I plait it, it'll look nicer. And leave a couple of wispy bits. Because I'm a millennial and we can't be doing without wispy bits. Maybe I should just put a wig on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going out looking for props today for those videos that I'm going to do for October. Um, I also... Maybe not in October, but maybe November, I want to do a Roxanne Wolf video that's really requested one. You know, from Five Nights at Freddy's. So I think I'm going to do a one of those as well. So I need to start getting props and things for that. Oh, but that's how we know in October, isn't it? That's fine, I don't care. <laughs> Can't be thinking about things like that. This needs a bit here as well, a wispy bit. Okay. This might look a bit neater, I think. And then I'll wash my hair tonight, I promise. I promise I'll wash it tonight. I left it because yesterday I just had it in a ponytail so it didn't really matter. And I only ever wash it about once or twice a week anyway. But it needs cutting or it needs help in some way. I need help in some way. <laughs> I've also not booked but I'm like penciled in for a stall that isn't at a Comic Con. Ooh. How intriguing, but I need to design some new stock that isn't just anime because obviously the majority of people going to that kind of thing will not know what the hell Boogie the Clown is. But I'll I'll keep my K-pop ones and then I've done like my forest friends and the fish ones and things like that. But um if you have any ideas for like any generic stickers or sticker packs I can do, let me know. And I will make some. I eventually want to have an online shop for it as well but I don't fancy paying a tenner a month when I already have many bills coming out. Oh, The bobbles don't match, does that matter? One's black and one's brown. Should I do my ears sticking out like Chewy from Twice? Does that look cute or do I look bald? I look a bit bald, don't I? <laughs> I think that looks alright. It's so big. Why is this bit so big? Is it meant to be? <laughs> Maybe I should cover my odd ears. You know I can feel it on my ears, it doesn't feel very nice. I'm thinking it'll come together when I've done my makeup. Maybe. I need to attach it to my brain now otherwise it'll come off. I met my friends on Saturday. I had a very nerve-wracking weekend doing things that I don't usually do. I met my friends, my two closest and best friends in the world um, from school who I don't see often enough at all. 
But we met up and we had tapas. Are you impressed that I had tapas? Me, I'm like a person with a child's palate. I saw that Amal had put on Facebook. Um, it was something like, I hate people who say, ew, that's disgusting when you're eating something. Especially when that person has the palate of a child. And I was thinking, that's me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you're eating something and it looks a bit ming, and I, I, I will tell you. But I did have tapas. I wasn't very adventurous with the tapas, don't get me wrong. I had some like potato varieties and some nachos and I tried this cucumber dip that kind of tasted like toothpaste. We were also burning hot. It was like the hottest day known to man. <laughs> and um, my back got a bit burnt. And when I got home, I had such a bad head. I think I had like heat stroke, that's fine. <laughs> fine. Okay, we're doing this posh thing today. Look at this. I went in boots and approached a lady. Cause I was looking for this which is, I found like a posh, well coveraged, full coverage foundation that I've liked and now I've used it up and I went back and she said, oh, all the shades have changed for that. I was like, oh, wonderful. So I'm trying this one, which is Estee Lauder. I-N-O. One N-O? She didn't have great handwriting, bless her, but that's what we're trying. We've got this little teeny weeny thing. It actually smells better than the one I had. The one I had smelled a bit like old lady perfume. Somebody's mowing the lawn. It'd be even better if it actually came out. Hello? Oh, there we go. I don't know how much to use. They tried it on my face in the shop. I already had a full face foundation on and they tried it. <laughs> here and here, two different shades and it looked like I had a beard. And I was like, well, now do I just walk around like this for the rest of the day? And I did. So there was that. I want Luffy's hat. I'm imagining them all like minimalist, like just black lines. So I want like Luffy's hat and I want on the back of my arm, like straight here, like a straight line, I want a kunai, you know, like from Naruto, the little knife looking things that they throw about. And then obviously I want something from Black Butler but I don't know what. I'm not going to be going wild like Jimmy, who now has just permanent tights on. <laughs> they look amazing, but I'm not that rich. Um, but yeah, just a few on my arm. I think it's called like patchwork tattoos. And it's probably frowned upon in the industry because it's not a sleeve and it's not coherent, but I really like the look of it. But yeah, that's what I'm after. I think, I want either Sebastian's eyes in like a box, like it's in a manga panel, or his mouth, like smiling with his sharp teeth. Cause I was thinking like, what is there in Black Butler that could be like, if you see it, you'll know it's from that. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. And all I could think of was either Sebastian's badge brooch thing that he wears, or like the Funtum candy symbol, but it's like got a cat in it and stuff and it's, Bit ugly, so the new season's coming out. Are you excited? I'm excited. Hey, that's pretty good coverage. That it's covered my redness. Not that you can see because you're just in the dark, but sorry. Right. 
I can't lose this bit of paper because it's got the right shade on it. I don't want them to put it on my face again in the shop. <laughs> Let's do a bit of conceal. This is going to have to be its own video, isn't it? Otherwise the video is going to be like five million hours long. So I'll do this one and then I'll do a separate one for Gana Newton getting some props. Halloween is soon. By which I mean October is soon. That's when I put all my Halloween decorations out so that the children know to come to my house. And I will be doing another video where I show you what I'm giving out. And it's going to be buckets. Every child gets a bucket <laughs> full of toys and sweets. Thank you so much to anyone who has sent anything via my throne wish list. You have helped me fill the buckets. And they're each getting a big giant bubble wand. <laughs> Last year I did a circus theme out the front and then a kind of graveyardy theme out the back and this year it's going to be haunted house out the front and circus out the back. Which it will probably have to be forever just swapping over because where am I going to put all these props if I buy new props? I did see this amazing prop in well, it was like a garden ornament in TK Maxx and it's like gigantic and it's a headless horseman on his horse and it was £120 <laughs> and it's like big and iron and I don't know where I would put it but I loved it but I'm not getting it, I'm not insane maybe I'll get it, no I don't think I will put that on my wish list <laughs> I live alone but I was showing my mum the headless horseman in the shop and she was like, no, you're not getting that. I was like, mum, I can get it. She's like, no. <laughs> she did her mum voice and I was like, no, you're not getting it. So I didn't get it. It was probably for the best, to be honest. What if it goes on sale? If it goes to like 60 quid, then it's mine and it's going to go in my front garden forever. And I will be forever known as the weird lass with massive headless horsemen in our garden. Which I could be known for worse things really, so that's what okay. I hope you're remembering about my sticker ideas. Write your ideas down in the comments. Or did you already forget? cute smile for putting blush on. <laughs> now, I bought some amazing new earrings at a farm show recently. <laughs> Is that strange? I haven't finished my makeup but before I forget I'm going to put these earrings in. They're like teddies that are half skeleton, kind of dissected teddies. That's what we like. See I'm already starting the Halloween fashion. Not full on yet. There's no pumpkins on me yet, but you know, it's getting there. Right, I'm gonna do orange eyes. <coughs> Ooh, my chest feels the change in temperature. Right, this is a palette somebody bought me because people are kind and rich. a plain base that doesn't do anything but I like to think it does Ooh. ah oranges I've just put that on my face it's a good job but it does nothing right in the middle I'll go with this just like classic orange. Is that such a thing? If it goes on my trousers, I'm buggered. <sighs> I don't think I've seen you. 
since the One Piece live action came out, have I? Anyway, I loved it. I gave it like an 8 or 9 out of 10. There were a few little things that I wasn't that keen on, like Zoro needed some sort of facial expression. <laughs> Before the time skip, he wasn't so serious. Even after the time skip, he's not that serious, but please express some sort of emotion, lad. He was still brilliant and a perfect casting choice, I thought, but he just needed to, like, emote. Anyway. I loved all the characters. I wish Usopp's backstory was only one episode rather than two because the black cats just weren't very exciting buddies. Um, and obviously I wanted more Sanji because Sanji is perfect and I'm in love with Sanji. Taz Skyler, DM me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought it was brilliant. For such an impactful like anime to even try it was brave but I absolutely loved it. I thought the last episode was really good and um, especially Zoro and Sanji fighting side by side that was so good and fulfilled my dreams. Nami was great as well like in the anime she's just kind of there and I love her she doesn't do anything special for me, but I thought she was great in the live action. She called Emily, I think she's called Emily. She's she was just great. And there was really random like little things that I enjoyed, like I think it's in the first episode where Luffy has gone to like the marine base and he's with Nami and she's pretending she's um like arrested him. And he just keeps wandering into like random doors. <laughs> it was so like Luffy coded. Yeah. Love that. And the song from it is so good. Have you heard the song? My sails are set, I think it's called. Got it blasted in my car. It's so good. It gives you that nice freshen that you need. Do a bit of eyeliner. Uh, I'm itchy but I know I've got foundation on my hands and I can't touch the outside of my top. Ugh. <laughs> oh it might be my bra that's itching me. I've got a few non-Halloween videos planned as well. Like down here on my floor, I have my Boa Hancock cosplay, and I'll be using my new props for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one should be fun because she's such a fun character, and she's like totally unhinged. I love her. That first time when she meets Luffy, and she's like obsessed with him, so funny. Can she do the other side the same? We'll see in the next episode of Jen's Eyeliner. I bought my new issue of Black Butler, the only manga I buy physically. I wait for it, I don't look at any spoilers or anything. Still haven't read it, I bought it months ago, I haven't read it, I like to save it. I don't know what I'm saving it for, it's been like over a year since I read the last one. I can't remember what's happening. Um, yeah, I'm excited to read it. Does anybody else do that? You buy something and then you save it. It's probably some like neurodivergent thing. I don't think I've made an equal. But 
that's okay. I've got some in my head now that sales a set song. Well, they're kind of equal. Equal enough that I don't care. I'll show you in the light in a minute, don't panic. I'll do my mascara and then I'll show you. Got this Go, the Colossal Go Extreme. It's quite a good mascara. I couldn't find the old one I had that I really liked. I don't think it exists anymore, so rest in peace, that mascara. I hope Revolution Know, makeup revolution. I hope they're doing a Halloween palette again this year. They didn't last year. I was really upset. I wasn't really upset. I was just a bit disappointed. But I always get the Halloween palette because it always has the best colours. But nope. I don't think they're doing them again. I think I might be the only person buying them. All right, we'll use that hack that that commenter told me that time. Don't panic. Right. Oh, God. Where's my spoolie? Oh, no, where is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. So magic, it just gets rid of it. Put a bit of gel in my eyebrows as well so they're not as crazy. It hurts to pluck your eyebrows. I'm not really a fan of pain. I do pluck them now and then, but can't be doing with that. I also need to find a new way to shave my legs. Is that too much information? I just get on a strawberry legs all the time and they get so itchy. I think it's because I have like no flesh on my legs. Okay. Let me pause because it's running out of card space. All right. Da, 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 da. Oh. What am I standing on? It's rubbish on the floor, right? Oh, I haven't done my lipstick, man. Why didn't you tell us? I've got like a blood orange colour somewhere. Oh well, it'll be in a handbag. Anyway, this is my outfit. <laughs> yes, thank you so, so much for watching. My nose looks massive. <laughs> anyway, thank you. I'll see you hopefully in the prop shopping video. If I dare do it in public, I will, I promise.